Hi YouTube artist, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to In The Studio. Today we're going to paint another holiday element of our artful advent. Are you ready? Let's go paint. Welcome to day one of the artful advent. Today we're going to be creating the star and this was kind of my inspiration for the star. I just really love this handmade little star with its little seasoned greetings. <laughs> So you'll notice the little round shape, and here it is. I'm going to start by wetting the shape. You don't want standing puddles, you just want it to be nice and damp so that the color flows really nice. And I'm going to go into raw sienna. If you don't have raw sienna, please make sure and go watch my color mixing video for this. I'm going to put it at the ends and leave the center kind of open. I will blot with a paper towel if I need to. So if there were standing puddles, that wouldn't it wouldn't help them smooth into one another. You can see how they're kind of blending really softly. That's the look we're going for. I'm gonna dip my brush in just a little bit of water and soften now. Dip my brush. Okay, I want to just blot in the center there. Picking up some more raw sienna. Just adding more color. Because I diffuse the water here by adding more water, I've diffused the color. You can see the hole is closing up a little bit here. So I'm just going to put a little bit more water on it. And just blot again in that middle. I'm going to take some stronger raw sienna. Just kind of blot at the ends because you know I want to splash this. Dipping my finger in my bowl here and just splashing. Cleaning out the center again. It's dry and now I'm going to come in with some more raw sienna. A little, think of a heavier mixture now, not as much water. Because I want to do a little bit of shading just on the little tips of it. adding the color, but then I'm putting my brush down because there's a lot of water on my brush there. I'm going to soften right here. I got an ugly spot. See how rich it makes it look now? That's what I wanted. Deepen this little top one just a little bit more. If your center is too bright, you could also always do a light wash of the Rasa Anna over it. So just add a lot more water. like that. But I liked mine being very bright. 
I've got my Posca pen now. This is what I'm going to be using for my white. I want everything to have a little bit of Posca pen on it so that it all goes together at the end. If I just do a couple with the bright white pen, it's going to kind of stand out. So each of my elements will have some kind of white. Just kind of making a center here. Then I'm going to do lines out to the tips. And then I'm going to just dot in between. So I'm trying to be fill this little white area with a little bit of dots. Get one where you don't like it, just take a wet brush, it will get it right off of there. That's fun. I bring it up close, it kind of looks like a sugar cookie, which I love. You're a star for joining me. Thanks for watching.